I know I came into this physical body from non-physical and I don't have much memory of that and I don't have any memory of what was before that which gives me a really good sense that that's not the way this was set up that we are not meant to remember what was before because what is now is what is primary what is now is what is primary in the moment of my birth what is now is primary and now 70 years later what is now is primary what has been is not where my power is what is coming next is not where my power is but where I am right now where there is a convergence of what I've asked for and what I'm allowing that's where all of my power is I asked for things before I even got into my physical body. There were things in my vortex that even my parents put there. The generations that walked the earth before I got here even put things into my vortex. So there is a long history of how it got there and what's there. A lot of asking that was set into motion even before I got here. I can't contemplate all of it, but it is satisfying to me to realize the longevity of who I am, the eternal nature of who I am, the what wasness of who I have been but most important the what isness of who I am now because in the eternal becoming the only thing that matters because the only thing that is perceivable the only thing that is perceptible is what is happening right now I can remember the past but I'm perceiving it through this lens I can imagine the future but I'm perceiving it through this lens so this lens of present tense where all of my perception is from is about the meeting and the marriage or the blending between my perspective of me and my inner beings perspective of me so I would like to hear from you Abraham what is my inner beings perspective of me here and now what is that perspective that I'm wanting to merge with so your inner being is saying to you specifically you are so much more than you have been allowing and in every moment that you relax just a little bit and try a little less hard and laugh a little more and do something a little more pleasing to yourself as you more tend to those moments in time these present moments in time where you really care about how you feel and you modify your thought with an intention to feel the improvement and then find it and then take pleasure from the improvement as you relax in the relief that you just accomplished because you focused that's what your inner being is going for wanting for from you all the time your inner being knows the totality of who you have been and most important knows the totality of the possibilities of here and now and the possibility of right now is unfathomable to you but not to your inner being your inner being doesn't need you to fathom all of it to understand all of it your inner being just wants you to take pleasure from your inner beings pleasure of who your inner being knows you to be you can't do it all at once you wouldn't want to that wouldn't be fun you have eternity to do it so take pleasure from the doing don't try to get it all done there's no race there's no shortage of time you are an eternal being and you're in the perfect place right now for all that you've become to be felt by you right now your inner being has such adoration and appreciation of you because you're the one that has set all of this into motion you're the one that explored the contrast you're the one that felt the discomfort you're the one that asked for the new you're the one that launched the rocket you're the one that put that vibration there you're the one that created the focal point that source energy is focused upon you are the reason for the future you are the reason for the eternalness that is coming and all that matters for you is to take pleasure in your now so that the constant steady ease and flow unfolding of life is yours just the way you planned it when you decided to come you didn't say I'll go make a big splash you said this is going to be great you didn't say I'll tell them the errors of their ways you couldn't see any errors because from that perspective there weren't any you only appreciated the diversity and contrast and balance of the whole and you knew that it was good for everyone and everything you knew that it was exactly the plan the plan that has been set into motion you know that you are essential to that which is source and you know that life is supposed to feel good and you know that your guidance system will lead you to this good feeling moment and this one 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 and you know what 
There's never going to be anything more than this feel good feeling moment and this one and this one and this one and this one because you're never going to be able to live into the future. You're never going to live in the future. You're always going to live in the now. So how's now? How's now? Well, it doesn't feel that good. Then change the thought. Well, how is it now? Oh, that feels a little better. Well, then stay focused on that. Oh, that feels really good. Now law of attraction kicks in. You like that? How about this? You like that? How about that? How about this? You like this? How about this? You like that? How about this? You like that? How about this? You like that? How about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? How about this lifetime after lifetime for the purpose of you fulfilling what you deserve, which is living happily ever after, ever after, ever after, ever, 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 ever after. Not just till you're 80 or 90 or 100. Esther saw someone interviewed last night, a magnificent writer. He was 94 five or something like that still as alive in his being as he was decades ago because he knows how to let it flow let it flow let it flow let it flow he's not lamenting the past he's eager about now he likes what's flowing through him now and he said as did the other Lynn manuel Miranda was on the stage with him they're collaborating together on something new in Broadway so Esther she's listening to them she's just devouring every word because they know what she knows she heard them say you know what the most delicious thing is about the work that we're getting to do in our collaboration together something flows and we say oh this exists and a minute ago it didn't this song now exists and a minute ago it didn't this recipe this cake exists and a little bit ago it didn't this idea exists this collaboration exists this awareness exists and a little bit ago it didn't ah, you all are so fortunate to be in your bodies in this time with the movements of energy you're right this is a rip roar and ride and you knew it would be and it's why you chose this time if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next